Despite numerous allegations of sexual harassment, opera legend Placido Domingo received a warm reception during his recent European engagements. An Associated Press investigation published last month reported that nine women accused the long-married superstar of sexual harassment. In the weeks since the initial AP story was published, 11 additional women, including Angela Turner Wilson, have shared new stories about encounters with Domingo. Wilson says he put his hand down her robe and grabbed her bare breast one night while the two of them were having their makeup done. The other allegations range from unwanted touching to requests for kisses and private meetings. Some backstage employees, like Melinda McLean, described how they would try to shield young women from Domingo. The most important thing was simply to not have Mr. Domingo alone in a small room, like a practice room or even a dressing room with young women. And that's difficult to do in an opera company. McLean worked as the production coordinator at the LA Opera for its inaugural season in 1986 to 1987 and at the Houston Grand Opera. One of the best ways to get uh, Mr. Domingo to lay off um, various singers and uh, other people in the company was simply to invite his wife to town. We knew while Mrs. Domingo was in town that he would straighten up his behavior. The LA Opera has hired outside counsel to investigate the allegations in the initial AP story. In a statement to the AP, a spokesperson for Domingo said the new claims are riddled with inconsistencies and in many ways simply incorrect. They cited the ongoing investigation, saying they will not comment on specifics, but that they strongly dispute the misleading picture that the AP is attempting to paint. The San Francisco Opera and Philadelphia Orchestra have both canceled appearances as a result of the allegations, but no European engagements have been called off. So much love from the public and yeah. great performance. Christopher Fourier, Associated Press.